Hi guys, welcome back to another Itch.io free to play walkthrough. Today we have Tabula Rasa, which, uh, <laughs> excuse the noise, I didn't, it's pretty exciting. But I wanted to look at this game because I really like the art style and like how the game's set up. I think it's really cool for an indie game. It's definitely different. Um, let me see if I can get rid of this noise. No, it's gonna keep doing it. Okay. But yeah, definitely a different kind of game and I figured it might not get like the, the chance it deserves because of the game being a little bit challenging. I've already played it. Um, I just wanted to play through it again so I could kind of get like a spotlight more people could see it and maybe like, hopefully the creator will work on it some more because it's a really neat idea. In the beginning, there was nothing. For there to be anything besides nothing, you must have something. How do you create something out of nothing? You go, I, 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 You pull out your handy dandy notebook with stop motion. Tabula Rasa, made for Ludum Dare 45 in 48 hours, disordered 2019 copyright. But as you can see, the art style is pretty fucking sick. I like it. At first, there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Only the vast emptiness. But that was until you came along. Quite frankly, you're the only being in the whole existence. Makes you feel uneasy, doesn't it? Nah, no pressure, son. I'm the only thing here. You are everything, yet you are nothing. And in this nothingness, you find the solace in your dreams. Aye, 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 aye. When I played this on the web version, you can't hear this noise, so, well, I didn't hear it. Last night, you had a dream that you were a god, and in reality, that's what you are. I am the god inside you. We are one, and the same, even though we are not. What a contradiction conundrum. Am I confusing you? It's okay. Reality can be weird sometimes, although nothing is real. Seems your subjective reality has broken down into bits and pieces, and all the pieces have scattered all over your subconscious mind. Please, if you'd be so kind, retrieve all the shards of your consciousness, then bring them to me. I am you as much as you are me. Let's walk together in this absolute nothingness we call life. Alright, then the game starts. Yeah, so I wanted to look at this basically because now that I can actually think, because the thing's not I, 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 I in me. Because most people on H.I.O. only review games that are like super easy horror games like me. I do that as well sometimes. But I feel like this game definitely needs, deserves some spotlight because it's actually pretty neat. And the mechanics are hard-ish. But I like that there's multiple ways to do things in this game. Like you can take different paths and you can abuse the system pretty well with the um, move keys. But it's not super easy either because you use a lot of momentum. Tons of moments. But let's see how fast I can do this. Because I've already done this once, but it was actually... It took me a while, it's hard. And now I'm an expert. Oh god. See, you get bounced by some things and it's just like, oh my god! The boost key makes you OP. As long as you use it correctly. With great power comes great boost ability. I gotta get my boost up. And the closer you boost to the ground, the higher up you go. That's a pro tip from my experience. There's one diamond that's like hidden in a cloud. I think it's right there actually. I actually got super lucky that I found it last time because. Oh god. Boost. Use the boost to get through. But as you can see, it is kind of hard to moment. Correct way. Oh, did I already get it? Ah, I must have already got it. Oh no! Okay, well, one death. I think I died like seven times when I played through on the web browser. The web browser did not have the banging soundtrack though. I'm just so glad that I I I I I I I I I thing stops once you start the game. That was good. It was super toxic. If you want to do this the difficult way, you can go through the bottom, which is the hard way to do this, or you can go through the top, which is the easy way to do this, like this. Alright, so I gotta get the five at the bottom now, but if you go from the bottom to the top, it's a lot harder. So 
if you go from the top to the bottom, it's super easy. So, if you're a huge Eping gamer, I'd suggest trying to go through the bottom. I'm missing two pieces, and I don't know where they are. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, hail. Wait a second, where am I? I think I'm lost, actually. Oh, there's a diamond over here. Okay. Yeah, so there's two more diamonds at the bottom that we can get to. Two more diamonds down here. Alrighty. Yay. Oh, dang, this didn't happen in the web version either. It didn't turn red like that. That kind of took me off. Sick. This is where it gets real hard, I guess. So yeah, there's bonus stuff when you do it on the download version, which is kind of cool, because I like the download version of H.I.O. games better anyways. Oh, please! No, no, no! Not going out like this. I'm an expert and a professional. Master the mechanics of this game. You will not kill me so easily. Yay. But yeah, this is actually like a pretty challenging mechanical game. But you have to use your momentum correctly with much skill. And you can actually get a whole lot better at it with practice. You actually feel like you're leveling up by playing it, which is always cool and I'm fucked up. No! because you get the roof pretty easy and you can oversteer, which kind of sucks. We did it! Great success! Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Only four deaths. Yeah, it took me so much longer on the web version when I tried it for the first time. That only took me about seven, eight minutes. I will say the ending's kind of like a little bit um, underwhelming. These noises are so loud. Jesus Christ. This dude's like walking with a purpose. Freaking mana. I don't know what the ending really means, except for that the thing, the mask exists in the real world as well. Um, but, like, the gameplay I really like, because it's difficult, and it works really well. Like, you can control the momentum really well and get better at controlling it. Um, I really love the art style with, like, the stop motion and the, um, like, paper-drawn world kind of thing. The ending, obviously doesn't really mean too much and like the starting part where the mask is talking to you is kind of convoluted it doesn't really say much of anything but i like it i think it's pretty sick but thanks for watching as always guys and if you like the video please like and subscribe and as always i'll leave a link to the game in the description bye